No one in this world, whether from the past, nor in this present time, nor even in the succeeding generations, can ever talk about the future with perfect accuracy. The questions like, what will happen tomorrow? What will be for me next year? Or when will this pandemic end? The questions like, will I be successful if I choose this course or career? Or if you're in your late 30s and still single, your question maybe is, is there still a chance for me to get married and have a family? Or maybe you're in a difficult situation right now. It could be a financial shortage, a broken relationship, severe illness, or some sort of depression that you're going through. Your question maybe is, will I ever be able to overcome this? The reality, these are the kinds of questions that are very hard to answer. In fact, we can know the answer with certainty because it's impossible for us with our finite minds to know the future. Moreover, every day we face situations and decisions to make that will surely affect our future. Whether we will get what we want or not, will succeed or fail, the truth of the matter is we do not hold our future. And here comes the problem. As intellectual and emotional people, we tend to lean on our own understanding, emotion, and sometimes our instinct in terms of making decisions or choosing what path to take. We make ourselves our leader. We only trust ourselves. Yes, sometimes we also ask for insights and pieces of advice from other people, which is good, but remember, they aren't different from us. Human beings with a finite mind and do make mistakes. Not with Abraham, who was later called Abraham. He was a man of God. He was righteous in God's own eyes, not because of his own righteousness, but because of his faith in God. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, we read, Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Here's a direct instruction from God to Abram, telling him to transfer from his current place to a place he doesn't even know of. Imagine you're in this kind of situation wherein you're already used to it, all is well with you, you're enjoying life, and then the Lord spoke to you, telling you to transfer to a place you don't know about. It could be from one country to another country, or from your current job to another job, or to starting a business, or maybe to going full-time capacity in the ministry. Will you obey? Will you trust God? Abram obeyed. He trusted God and His promise. In verse 4, it says, So Abram went as the Lord had told. Abram obeyed and trusted God as a child to his father as a follower to his leader. And the rest is history when God fulfilled all his promises to Abram and down to his generations. The God of Abram who is all powerful and all knowing is the same God from eternity past to eternity future. From everlasting to everlasting he is God and he holds our life in the palm of his hands with certainty in his mind to bring about his great purpose and plan for us. In this life full of uncertainties, we have a Father in heaven who desires to reside in our hearts and lead us to a life full of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. He has proven this when He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for our sins and rose again to offer us forgiveness and fullness of life here on earth and most importantly, in eternity in heaven. We have a Father who leads us. Remember that. We just need to trust and obey, have faith, and follow. Have a great day. Thank you.